The best place I've ever been to ride a snowmobile is where it snowed yesterday. My perfect snowmobile would be uh, a sled that is, in fact, an extension of my body. Well, I'm looking for a reliable setup, and I'm looking for a sled that's got good power, gets me on top of the snow, and that's easy to turn in the trees. Riding in the mountain is so challenging that we want the, the sled to become part of the rider. Our job is the relation between the user and the product itself. It needs to work together. So all the little practical aspects to it need to be there. The flex track, the T-motion, the new ski and the new spindle as well. Also the body, these were all key factors. We push the refinement, we push the ergonomic of it, basically push everything from the legacy of XP. The 800R E-Tech is a great engine for mountain riding from its uh, power standpoint to begin with to the power delivery. It's extremely important in mountain riding that you get good power delivery. It's already technically challenging enough that when you hit the throttle you want the response to be immediate and predictive. We wanted to improve the running board design, so uh, we create some more openings to make sure that we would evacuate the snow correctly. The foot forward position allows me to position my body in line with the steering post when I'm off to the side. Now I have more control of the machine. Say if you're doing like a downhill turn on a real steep slope, you can get forward on the sled and just make it turn instantly when you want. The T-Motion suspension gives me an advantage in that it allows me to roll the sled up on its edge and balance it. The Flex Edge track enhances what the T-Motion suspension does. The combination of Flex Edge track and the T-Motion, um, the snowmobile will turn right away. There's no, you don't have to pre-plan any of your turns. In mountain riding, the seat is very important and it was redesigned in that aspect. The seat has to be small, very narrow, to be as less as possible in the weight. We took everything that was not absolutely necessary and put it on the console to really keep the minimum control we could on the handlebar so there is nothing in your way when you're riding. Storage was brought basically because we moved certain elements so that created a space. Sometimes the goggles are getting all foggy. At the end we said if we put the goggle on the top of the engine, it should work. So that created the, the luggage at the front of the vehicle. For the T3 package, the thing that I like best is obviously the 174 inch track and the 3 inch paddles on it. The thing climbs unbelievable, but the cool thing is, is that it actually sticks to the hill as far as side hilling. Literally, you can side hill it on a wall, stop, take a look around and go up, down, sideways, whatever you want to do. It's super predictable and it's really pretty easy to handle. When it's monster deep powder, like chest deeper, that's really the only thing that's getting around. For the deep snow, there's nothing else like it. I already was a big fan of the previous year's models, but when I got out riding, I couldn't believe the difference. The combination of all the new features just makes it like the ultimate mountain sled right now. It's just so easy to ride. It feels like it's an extension of my body. Um, it responds quickly to rider input. Um, it, it's just, it, it's, a, it's an incredible sled.